Hi. Whew. It's so hot. It wasn't this hot in the morning, but hey, it's the beginning of a new vlog. I am recording. It's going to be a really rather interesting weekend with my mates. Um, I am having, hang on two seconds. I love these super seas. Ooh, the strawberry flavor. Ooh, I'm so, I'm so addicted to them. Um, so anyway, I'm going to, welcome to a new video. Welcome to a new one. Uh, I'm going to be recording for this whole weekend. Probably, yeah, I'm going to be recording this whole weekend. Um, I just came back from Tasha's. I was having lunch uh, with my sister i was actually at work and then i met my sister after work and uh we sat and we had lunch and um so i'm having a games night mm, mm -mm. i can't talk with this in my mouth so um so tomorrow night is a games night so it's going to be a little bit of a picnic with my mates um tomorrow afternoon and y'all know i love me a good picnic um they're going to arrive after four so that should be great uh the sun should the sun won't be as strong and the area where i want to set up the picnic outside should be uh, covered with shade at around that time but the weather is fantastic tomorrow it's like 27 degrees which which is and then uh yeah we're gonna chill for a little bit have drinks catch up unwind people are going to meet people most of them pretty much know each other um uh, yeah so just what the hell so just five of my friends are coming through uh i think now lady might also come through with her friends as well so the game that i'm uh i bought it yesterday actually was a bunch of fights so the, the, the game i'm bringing to the game night is 30 seconds this was delivered yesterday by take a lot um this is the game that causes a bunch of fights between people uh really really excited i've always wanted to have 30 seconds in my house i used to have it and then when that lady moved out i think she moved out with it but haven't have i don't i don't know i don't know uh anyway so this is going to be exciting um uh, two of my other friends are also get, three of them are also bringing games as well so we've, we're going to have options to choose from that's very exciting um uh, but i picked up a couple of things because i am going to be making a charcuterie or fruit board or a cheese board that kind of thing um, I, I make them a lot when I have people over. I'll put some pictures of all the different times that I've made uh, charcuterie boards here at home. I'm kind of bummed out because there are no melons in stock and melons are really, really great on a charcuterie board, especially when you've got a uh, palmer ham and prosciutto, but it is what it is. Um, so I'm gonna show you what I picked up. Just in case you want to do a charcuterie board yourself, charcuterie board yourself, I think it is French. Um, so I picked up the hams and the salamis. So I picked up two, two, uh, prosciuttos. Is this prosciutto? Yes, this is prosciutto. And then I picked up some, um, this is salami, but I don't know. Yeah, this is salami. So I picked up some salami as well. And then at Woolies, I picked up salami sticks as well. So I'm going to add that to the board. Picked up some brie cheese. This is my favorite, favorite cheese. Absolutely love that cheese. Uh, also got some uh, camembert cheese. So this is the high fat camembert cheese. I'm not a fan of camembert cheese, but hey, camembert. <laughs> camembert. I <laughs> uh, got a bit of dip as well. This is for later on in the evening when we're having chips and snacks while we're doing games night. Um, while we're playing the games, rather. Uh, I'm going to set up another plate of chips and snacks and all of that. So this is not going on the board. This is not going on the charcuterie board. But I bought some uh, dip to go with the chips and the nachos. And this is from Epic, cheese and onion flavored dip. And then these I actually bought for myself for today. I, I bought it in the morning wanting to eat it at work and then I didn't. Um, so I'm pretty sure it might also go into the fruit selection tomorrow. Uh, the charcuterie board or the, the yeah setup selection for tomorrow. So it's a bunch of strawberries, blueberries, grapes. Lots of grapes actually. 
Uh, and then for the board, I did also pick up uh, some marinated sun-dried tomatoes. These are really, really good as well. Really, really love these. Sun-dried tomatoes are everything. Have you tried sun-dried tomato paste? Oh my God. Um, what's also good with cheese and cracker bread and all of that is fig jam. Fig jam is so, so good. Um, so I picked up this uh, cape fig and raisin jam. That's pretty much what it looks like. Picked this one up from Checkers. So this board, this this stuff is from Checkers, all of this. It's from Checkers. Uh, snacks. This is for later on in the evening. Look who I picked up. I picked up the girl, the girl. Uh, yeah, picked up the girl, two of those, because I know so many of my friends actually love those. So, I, yeah. And then for the board as well, I picked up some Kalamata olives and also some uh, green olives as well. So, easy peasy, lemon squeezy, great. And then of course, also for the board, the most important ingredient, I did pick up uh, cracker bread as well. So we've got the salty cracks, which is uh, one with Mediterranean herbs and then one with roasted onion. Sounds delicious. Gonna have that as well. Gonna dig it up on the board. It's gonna be a good time. And then uh, to go on the board as well, we have got some Majori dates. Oh, these are Zamli dates, not Majori. These are Zamli dates as well. So I'm gonna chop that up a little bit, make it look cute. You're gonna see all of this. Salami sticks, I picked up two of these. These are also gonna go on the board as well. Um, there's the second one. Blueberries, these are going to go on the board as well. Uh, grapes, these are gonna go on the board as well. And lots of nuts. Nuts on nuts on nuts. So these are the luxury tree nuts. And then my favorite ones are the edamame and cashew selection. These are really, really good. Oh, those are really good. Those are really good. Um, and then, of course, strawberries for the board. And some more. These are the peri-peri cashew. These are the jalapeno-flavored cashew nuts. So, there you go. See that? Okay. And then that's pretty much it for the board. Uh, there's going to be five of us, so this is a lot of... This is a lot for five people. Should be okay. Um, so I'm going to pack this stuff away. I don't think I'm going to do much for this afternoon. I am... I'm, I think I'm pretty much going to rest. Like, I I slept quite late just last night. I'm tired. Um... I think I'm going to rest. It's a Friday afternoon that tomorrow is going to be such a busy day. Um, I've got wine and gin and I bought one of my friends some savannas because I know she'll be cool with savannas. Um, yeah, so there's drinks and then other people are going to bring their own drinks and all of that. So it's, it's just, it's going to be a vibe. In the meantime, I'm going to put the stuff away because yeah, we want it nice and cold. Nice and cold. Hey, it's the next day. Promise you it's the next day. I'm using a gorilla pod today because it's a little bit taller than this one, which is my Manfrotto one. I really like this one when I'm out and about. It's the next day. It is currently half past one. My friends are arriving at, the first friend is going to arrive at three. Um, the others are going to arrive after four. I haven't done anything. I haven't set up anything. Today's picnic day slash games night day. So, I haven't done anything. But what I'm going to go do now is my makeup. I have eaten breakfast. Um, I'm going to pour myself a pre-gaming drink while I do my makeup. And then you and I are going to have a chat real quick while I do my makeup. I'm going to talk to you about a bunch of things like... <laughs> the realizations that I've had over the last <clears throat> two months or so. Anyway, but I wanted to introduce today's vlog, today's portion of the vlog. Um, I tidied up my house, so my house is fairly. It's my my, what? my house is always clean. What do you mean? Okay. Um, what do you even mean? Uh, so what I'm gonna do now is pour myself a drink. 
so that I can go upstairs, set up, transform my face, okay? Look cute. I don't know what I'm gonna wear. The weather is phenomenal today. It's just, oof. And I remember when I was setting this up in my head earlier on this week, I checked the weather app and it's 27 degrees Celsius, okay? And that is pretty hot for Johannesburg. So it's gonna be nice and warm. And then I'm gonna do my face and then I'm gonna pull out all the blankies, the cushions, the this, the this, make things look cute. extra but i know i'm the same yeah. love me in spite of my trauma give me what i need instead of the drama because when it pop off it's like oh my all good all day but the night we be going so yeah, what they call a grown person's drink la, 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 and i had to do it in this class because what do you even mean mm. This is one of the reasons why I like an old-fashioned um, because old-fashioned also has that citrusiness about it. So good. All right, let's go upstairs. Let me go do my face because, wow. I'm in my room. Okay, I just did my brows because that's the one part of my makeup where I really need to concentrate. The sun is in between the clouds, so it might look a little bit like dark, but it's going to pop up. But it's going to pop back out again, and we're going to have some fun. So... Um, so we're getting ready for the girls. Uh, we got, we're getting ready to just celebrate black girl magic. Um, I'm kind of bummed because one of my very, very good friends can't be here because she does not live in Gauteng. Instead, she lives in, um, KZN. She's in KZN right now. She's going to come back, but she's in KZN right now. Um, and besides, she's actually just away this weekend. She's uh, going to go visit somebody. Um, so that's the one person that I'm kind of bummed about that she's not here. But everybody else who's coming, great people. I'm going to look a bit scary, guys. You know how it goes. You know how it goes. Uh, everybody who else who's coming are just wonderful women who play such a phenomenal role in my life. These are people that I talk to every day. If I could tell you how much airtime I waste on my friends, because a lot of the time we're just talking nonsense, really. But sometimes, you know, sometimes we're, we're talking the deep chats. Sometimes we're within, you know. Um, but these are women that I speak to every single day. So they mean a lot to me. My sister is also going to be coming through later um, with her friend. I think she's going to come in around games night. But right now for uh, the afternoon picnicking, hanging out, vibing out, all that stuff, it's just gonna be me and my mates, I think. But knowing Nalid, Nalid could just randomly rock up and I'm, I'm okay with that, it's fine. Like there's ample space. Um, she might just show up with her own alcohol, you know what I'm saying? You know, I've learned so much about myself in the last two months. Um, firstly, after having uh, gone through a breakup and a, a really on off, on off, like just really unhealthy breakup, I learned um, that there were parts of myself that had succumbed to the toxicity of the of the relationship. You know, I had I, I didn't really notice it until I was out of it, where I actually saw that yo, wait again for the longest time. This just wasn't good for me, you know? Uh, I had lost so many parts of myself because of who I am, because of my, what I'm about and, and, and the empath that I am. I'd lost so much of myself trying to, one, save the relationship, trying to, two, um, fix things because I feel like, oh, Gatlo's a fixer, okay? She's a bit of a fixer. She can figure it out and whatever, whatever. But also just a bunch of other things like, you know, you're, you, you're not going to get this long in a relationship and not try to fix it and not try to work it out. Um, and I'd completely forgotten. I'd completely lost 
sense of self. I'd completely lost who I was and what I brought to not not the relationship, but what I bring to me, right? I completely lost all of that because of how I felt um I felt like I was I was not heard in this in that particular relationship. Like I would speak, 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 but I just wasn't heard, right? So in those last, I mean, it ended at the beginning of the year, but in them couple of months where I was like dating and had tapped into savagery mode and all of that, in those months, I just didn't care. I really tapped into a part of myself that I really don't like, number one, but I didn't, I didn't care. I didn't care that... Um, I didn't want a long-term relationship. I didn't want to, um, I didn't want to belong to anyone but myself. Where is my brush? In those months where I was dating, it just, I felt so in control. But at the same time, I was, I was finding out these parts of myself that I had, completely lost for the sake of this really toxic space that I was in. And at the time, I didn't realize it was toxic. And I'm not even going to lie and sit here and say, oh, that person is horrible or whatever, whatever. No, I'll still probably always have a soft spot for that person just, just because it be like that sometimes, you know, when you spend so long with somebody. But I reached a point where you, you can have that soft spot for somebody. You can feel that way for somebody. Um, but also know enough to know that you deserve better and know enough to know that you just don't want to partake in all that toxicity anymore. And for me, that hit me in the last, I think, I'd say two months. So I went on those few dates that I went on, sure. But in the last two months or so, it really hit me hard that, wow, there's just shit that I allowed. And I, I, and, and I don't know if it was because I didn't want better for myself. I don't know if it was because I felt like I had been with somebody for so long that you know, the thought of starting over again was frightening for me. I don't know what it was, right? But all I do know is that I lost myself along the way, somewhere. Uh, I wanted to fix things and I don't even think I realized how damaged things already were. Uh, I, I had allowed a whole bunch of shit to happen that the old me, <laughs> the old me says, mm -mm, mm -mm. and so I realized I, I tapped into myself quite a lot when I was dating and doing all of that, I was just like, you know what? I'm going to do me. I'm going to do me. I don't care. Like, if it means that this date went sour, I don't care about it. I block and I move on. That's exactly what I did. But then come what's happening now where I've tapped into a much softer part of me, a part of me that I had lost, right? Because of the previous relationship, a really, really soft part of me that I like. And I just realized now that I really like that part of me. I like the fact that I can be soft and delicate. I was on guard and so protected, protective of, you know, my emotions, my feelings, whatever, but on guard because of fear and on guard because of uncertainty and whatever for so long that when this came, what's going on with me right now, that when this came, this thing that encouraged me to tap into a softer part of me, I didn't recognize it for the longest time. I didn't recognize it. I was just like, no, 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 no. I'm still gonna, I'm still gonna. And I realized that there are parts of me that because I allowed it to happen in the previous relationship, that when something similar not the exact same thing, but when something similar, when I was presented with a similar scenario this time around in what I have now, and I'm not calling it a relationship yet because I'm not, I'm not there. I'm not at the point where I want to call it a relationship or whatever. It is what it is to me and that person, right? So 
calling it anything cements shit. And when things are cemented for me, that, that frightens me. Especially when it gets to emotions and matters of the heart. When things are cemented by words, like, oh, we're boyfriend and girlfriend, oh, we're husband and wife, oh, we this, 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 this. That shit kind of scares me. But I don't, I don't like to uh, give names to situations because I just feel like once you do that, you box yourself up in a certain, into a certain space and now because of society, you're deemed to act or behave a certain way because you're now saying that you're so-and-so's girlfriend or you're so that, mm, nope, 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 I don't want that. But what I've realized is that when I was presented with a situation that was very similar to what happened in my previous relationship, I got scared. And those toxic parts of me, those parts where I wasn't trusting, where I was fearful, where I was just like, okay, but what are you doing? Why aren't you saying anything? All that nonsense. I, I introduced it into this space. And I quickly had to call myself to order because I saw myself doing it, right? I saw myself jumping back into that stage where I'm fearful and I'm worried and I'm concerned and I'm um, closing up, right? I had, to, I had to call myself to order and say, listen, we're not going to do this. This is a different person. I know you used to do this with this person. You're not going to do this. You're not going to jump to conclusions. You're not going to do. You're not going to do. And I realized in that instant and in that moment that I need to have this conversation with this person so that they understand. Okay, I've just come a long way and there are certain parts of me that haven't quite fully recovered, healed, whatever. So I'm going to need you to be a little bit patient with me because healing is not a linear process. You can actually move forward with your life and actually create... Um, a certain just, just just be you and move forward with your life without having fully healed or fully recovered because life can't come to a stop just because you haven't healed because of somebody else or what somebody did or what the previous relationship did to you or how it made you feel about yourself or how it did this this that and the other so you can't stop living life because now you're in that space do you know what i mean so anyway um that's when I realized that, shit, I actually need to have a conversation with this person so that they understand that there may be moments where my traumatic experiences from my previous relationship might rear their ugly head with him. And I'm going to need him to understand that I ain't trying to be, I'm not, I'm not trying to snap. If I do snap, I'm not trying to do that. I'm trying to be better. I'm working on being better, but I'm going to need you to be a, a tad bit e pretty patient with me and when I said that he got it you know and it was just like mm, okay I hear you hear your chat I hear your chat I'm here for it I understand but I also learned that I rekindled and reconnected with parts of myself that I had lost I've been talking for 13 minutes wow I'm quick at applying my makeup who are you what do you even make uh, I'd learned parts of myself I relearned, I reconnected with parts of myself that I'd lost so long ago. Like I'd lost them. You know, the things that I like when it comes to relationships, the things that make me soft and delicate and like dressing up and going out and whatever. I had completely lost all of that. And it wasn't because of the person or whatever, but because I let that happen. I let that happen. And I feel like for me, that's one of the things that hurts me the most is that Sis, you let it happen though. But I also learned very much so that the healing is not linear and that it, it takes some time, you know, but it does not mean you must do yourself the disservice of not moving on when you want to. Don't be scared about starting something new because you're afraid that, I don't know, like, you know, I don't want to hurt this person or I don't want to be hurt or whatever, whatever. What I realized is that the biggest thing that you can do for yourself is actually to just communicate everything you're feeling. And with the right person, communicating what you feel should never turn them away, should never make them run, should never make them go into this little hole where they just now don't want to... Where the 
fuck here? Is this thing? I'm sorry. It's it's so refreshing to feel like I'm in a space where I'm heard, you know, and I'm safe and I'm treated softly and delicately. I've learned so much of myself in the last two months that it's wild. It's absolutely wild and I'm thankful because you can look back and think about someone or, s yeah, it's a car. You can look back and think about someone or something fondly, but still also remember and come back to yourself and think, as much as I may think of you fondly and all of that, I may think of you fondly over there. I'm just not in a place anymore where I can entertain the nonsense anymore. And yeah, it was scary how I realized how much nonsense I let happen. Um, how much nonsense I had, I let be. And we're going to allow people to love us loudly and boldly and not feel bad about it. And I saw this tweet that says, asking to be loved loudly and boldly doesn't mean being put on social media. And I was like, thank you. It has nothing to do with you placing me on social media or whatever, the, it, nothing. It has absolutely nothing to do with that. <sighs> so, parting last words about what I was talking about. Don't be too hard on yourself, man. If you're afraid to jump into something new, like at LOS at some point, I hear the chat and I'm here for it, but you owe it to yourself. You owe it to yourself to try some, try, try again, try something new. Um, you owe it to yourself to heal, but at the same time, heal while living your life and enjoying it. You owe it to yourself to find parts of you that you had lost because of something that was broken. You owe it to yourself to just rekindle with who you are. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, I'm gonna go, gonna leave my makeup here because I'm pretty sure one of my friends is gonna come in and be like, you girl, Opa, can me this, 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 and... I can keep that same energy when you go low, I go low too. But you'd rather stay high, I know you. Can we stay high, baby? I'd rather be on that way, trying to control our emotions. If we on a rise out of passion, we can share love. Please bear in mind, I don't drink savvy, okay? Savvy is wonderful to those who it treats wonderfully. There's another tea here. Uh, I don't drink Savvy, but some of my friends do, uh, even though a lot of them will be bringing alcohol. But I just opted to just pick up. I, yeah, there is one cold one in the fridge that I might just jump into. But not Savvy, I'm not a Savvy girl. But yeah, got some alcohol for the girls when they come. I need to go pick up ice. Meantime, just gonna whip out the alcohol. I've got a bottle of red. I've got a bottle of white. Um, and of course, the girl. I've got another one in my cupboard. But we're gonna finish off this one first. So the girl as well must show her face. Let's whip the alcohol. We could do it all night. Calls go to voicemail. I block you so I don't raise hell. Should the talk through it in detail? I separate ways, ain't gon' end well. No, but when we get back, it's like oh my, all bad all day. But the night I get that good, good till we act right. So tell me where we on the day, babe. I could keep that same energy. When you go low, I go low too. But you'd rather stay high, I know. Can we stay high, babe? I'd rather be on that wave Trying to control our emotions If we on a rise out of passion We could share love in the ocean But if you wanna go insane either way, baby We could go on We could do it all night We could go all night, all night Do we heal, do we bleed? I'ma follow your lead We could go on 
I'm cool collected, but you pushing on my nerves and knowing your attention, I'm under pressure. Okay, I'm admitting that a couple things I said got acidic in the tone and the presence, I get careless. Long as you know, I come with imperfections. When you look at me, you see the soul through my flesh. You something special. Know you looking bomb, the way you dress it, gone flex it, hold it still and let my mind digest. You got the leverage. You got the upper handle on the situation. You worthy of a million more of the storms that we weather. We fight retreating, then fuck, but you trying to kill the cycle. When nobody's stressing that body like me, I know the way you like it. I treat you like a queen, run the castle, you a treasure. Feel like you setting fire to my desire for the pleasure. You a gem, got me blim, let's make amends. No, you can't, I'm out here. Try to control our emotions. If we on a rise out of passion, we can share love in the ocean. But if you wanna go insane, the way, baby, we could go all right. So, if there's one thing I'm grateful for, as black people not being able to keep time because <laughs> it's five past four i told everybody they can come anytime after four so that's good i have pretty much just finished everything so i'm going to show you a montage of what i've just done as well as how it looks outside and then i'm going to go and change uh, one of my friends two of my friends are already on their way so that's fantastic what i'm going to do in the meantime is just do a couple of video clips for a reel that I will be putting together a little bit later on this coming week. Um, and yeah, it's a vibe back there. I mean, listen, no, I'm, I'm going to tell you one thing. I'm going to have been sweating. I need to powder down. I'm going to tell you one thing. Go host like you can't even, you can't even, the drinks are down there. Go, you can't leave me. Go host that. Leave me. You can't touch me when it comes to hosting. You can't touch me when it comes to making a charcuterie board. You can't just, you can't do it. It'd be, it'd be like that sometimes. Okay? Okay? That's why everybody wants to come to Cat's house when I'm hosting something because they know. If it was something bigger for a bunch more people, then I'd obviously have help. I'd have hands. However, it's literally like seven, maybe nine of us later on with my sister and her friends. Maybe 10. At the very most, 10 people are coming today. So right now, definitely maybe about six or seven. And then everybody else is going to join us later. So it really isn't much to do. Um, and then when people are hungry later, maybe for pizza or whatever, there's Uber Eats. People can Uber their food. Because I have done all I can on my end. Okay? It'd be like that sometimes. Okay? Nothing is right. My first guest is here. I haven't changed. It'd be like that sometimes. Prudence is here. She's parking her car. I can see her. <laughs> no gloss, no nothing. But it's fine. Wait to chincha. It's fine. It's quick, quick. Five minutes. Kill that one. So let's go say hi to Prue. Let's go. Oh, she's Hello. It's about that time. Hello. What do you eat? Do what you want to do. Say what you want to say. I'll be right here. Why? Well, yeah. 